from looking at this, it's clearly maybe a little bit too long. But at the minute, I'm not fussed about that. I just want to make sure that everything works and I can make a structure for this, the motor. So when it's actually ready, they just slot inside with a little bit of uh, cutting here and there. But just to make sure that everything fits. The timing belt is pretty small. And there's not exactly an awful lot of space in between these pulleys. But that's why I'm going to make the basic frame first, just to make sure everything holds together. Because it's a bit of a, an awkward shape, I've decided to use 3D printing and I've made this bracket just to hold the weapon motor. So that will sit on like that, sit like that, bearing on there. And I might try to do the same with the rest for the, the weapon frame, but I'll see what like. So due to a couple of screw holes and bits and pieces that hold the, the whole body together, I might need to make a little, some little adjustments. I mean, that's my weapon frame with two pieces of 3D printed. This is pretty much just to hold the pipe that's going to go on. And I know it's it's plastic, it's not really going to do much, but it's, it's, it's just going to be okay just now, just to sort of see how it looks and then I can work from there. But I think what I'm going to have to do next is cut out this section here so it sits about there once that bit's taken out and that should be low enough should be low enough This is the metal tube I'll be using. It's aluminium, 32 inside diameter, and fits, and this fits perfectly inside. I might just put on small wheels just to start off with, because I would like to try and get it so it comes out on the top so it's all the way around but if I just put small ones in and just cut holes in the bottom and then just allow it to drive I think that would be a good place to sort of aim for One problem after another. Wires keep coming out. I'm losing pieces. Drum's not quite fitting. I'll get there. Done. I think. It's just a case of making sure everything is on and oh yes I made these little wedgelets which just fit underneath here and in doing so that keeps the drum off the floor and also helps to cut under my opponent.
several weeks and finally it's finished. You wouldn't think I'd started this last month, would you? Or was it the month before? I that one. But finally it's done. Just want to say a big thanks to the Dreg Knight who gave me the idea, the drawing, to have the drum spinner and these little wedges in the front. So a big thanks to you. I do plan to find other appliances and bits and pieces like this, just completely gut them and see what I can do. And if you want to see some other content that I have done, I'll leave a link up there. And if you want to subscribe to see some more content what I have coming up next, just click a link down there. That's it for this video. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> okay. You know, I can't move on until you actually finish. Right in the middle, so it comes out each side, so it was... Uh, yeah. So...